So in this video, you will find out how you as a business owner or as an entrepreneur can get ahead of most of other businesses. We are in a changing environment and that requires changing business and the way we run business. Mark Kramer and Michael Porter, you most definitely heard of them, professors of Harvard, have developed something called shared value. In this video, I will go more into detail how you as a business owner, how you can actually leverage this concept of shared value and gain a competitive advantage over your competitors. A fantastic quote that they coined, Mark Kramer and Michael Porter, some while ago is that not all profit is equal. And that has to do with that we live in a society where several businesses have become hugely profitable, but at the expense of either their environment or their laborers or any other situation where the costs are externalized, meaning that the cost of doing business, the real price that the company should pay for their resources, either being, being materials or either being labor, is not being treated well. So let's get started. So what is this concept of shared value? Shared value focuses on gaining a competitive advantage. So that's basically the strategic output that is desired from from implementing shared value to, to the, the success of a business. So when looking at how normally businesses are run, a competitive advantage is gained by several strategies that can help a business perhaps sell more or gain a market, gain, gain a greater market share, right? So what you have is you have pricing strategies such as perhaps a very cost cost-based pricing model, or you could have, for example, a differentiation pricing strategy where you differentiate yourself from the competitor by providing high quality services, high quality products at a higher premium price. So that, that is just an example of the two strategies that can be used in business. But the concept of shared value is completely different because it doesn't look necessarily at the pricing or at the quality of the products, but it looks at who benefits from the business operations. So who's benefiting from the business operations? Is that only the company itself and are the stakeholders, which are the employees, which are the, the, the clients, which is the community, the society that is influenced by the business itself. How are they influenced by the business doing their business? So how are they influenced by their operations? Well, this is following. When you run a business, there is a value chain. So there are all of these other companies and all of these other suppliers and all of these other competitors that you're interacting with. And the moment that you interact with these clients, you start uh, with these stakeholders and, and, and employees, you start building a relationship. And this relationship is what is crucial, what is essential underlying the shared value concept. And the concept is basically is the more you share, the more or the better you serve others, the more you will be compensated in return. And that compensation is not just financial, but is a compensation that is also based on having stronger supplier relationships, having longer labor relationships, meaning that you have longer tenure periods with your employees, but also looking at a shareholder perspective, higher returns. So the shared value concept is like, how can you apply that today? The question is, are you, that's the crucial question, are you actually providing value to your society, to the community that you're active in? Because the real measure of profit is one that includes all the expenses that are actually created by the business. So just to give you an idea that some companies are extremely successful financially, so they make a lot of profit, but a lot of the expenses of the costs, those are sort of price they have to pay to make business are externalized. And what that happens is, is once the costs are externalized, the profit that you're reporting to your shareholders, 
to the stakeholders that are perhaps interested in seeing seeing your numbers are not actual they're not accurate they're not they're not showing the, the the total picture an example of that is the energy sector the energy industry where a lot of the expenses the actual costs are externalized such as the cost to clean up after an oil spill or for example to clean up the building site of oil pumps just to give you an idea or for example externalized costs would be for example the airline industry which by emitting carbon dioxide they are also having an impact on the environment but they are not actually including those those negative effects as costs so therefore profit is not equal not all profit is equal and what you therefore should try to do as a business that wants to be sustainable as a business that wants to achieve a competitive advantage is look at your business operations and ask yourself this question are the relationships are the interactions that i have with other businesses with other clients and customers and employees even are they honest are they fair and am i externalizing costs right so just, just to give you an example another example is perhaps nike or any other clothing manufacturing company that manufactures clothing at a relatively low price so the question is like how is it possible that you can buy a set of sneakers for uh for let's say 20 30 40 dollars if the actual cost if you would include externalities would be much higher what it has to do is that someone else and this is very important someone else is paying someone else is paying not necessarily with money but with their health could be bad labor conditions could be overworking could be having very lowerly hourly rates so these are all examples of every action that you do in business and of course outside of business has an impact on of course the people that are very close to you but also the community and the society in general so that the concept of shared value is actually that when you create value for other people when you create true actual value and your profit is an accurate number of what it actually generates you can you can create a competitive advantage and that competitive advantage i will just name a few is having strong strong customer relationship which means re repeat purchases but also which means happy customers which and clients which will refer you via word of mouth which is besides the the most powerful marketing tool out there word of mouth they will refer you to to their to their competitors they will refer you to their to their friends and family and that will lead to business growth for your business but the second item is also shared value is also based on relationships so giving back to community in the sense that you provide you're providing working conditions you're providing opportunity for people to develop themselves and that has to do with the social aspect and the social aspect is also part of creating value since we talked about a changing society we talked about a changing business environment and that is essential because businesses and the society we're working in is changing there is much more attention for a social aspect right and social aspect includes our labor conditions fair are we including enough women in higher positions are we treating perhaps people from a specific ethnical or religious background the same so these are all examples of how social and the social aspect and the social impacts have a huge impact on business and also profit and this is because business models should change over time but a lot of businesses they have they have obsolete business models business models that are 20 30 40 or even 100 years old and that is simply not congruent with business because business is highly complex it changes over time it even changes within year to year the same as legislation changes from time to time the same the rules of business they change over time what becomes more important 
changes over time. So this is the big takeaway is with shared value, we have an opportunity to grow financially. But to do that, we should not only focus on actually increasing the profit. Perhaps it sounds contradictory and it may, may you may experience as, as something contradictory, but it makes sense if you think about it, because if you take care of the people that you work with, that you are in contact with, they will then in turn take care of you. So it's a win-win situation for, for both parties. And this uh, shared value, there's also a shared value initiative, which is developed by Michael Porter and Mark Kramer of Harvard University. And they are basically trying to change the way we do business, right? And there is another related topic, which is the tri triple bottom line concept, which was developed by John Elkington. And the triple bottom line concept is very similar. It's not the same, but it focuses on similar concepts, such as having the three profits. So we have the profit for, 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 the, for, for financially. So the profit, we have the profit for the planet and we have the profit for people, for the so social, for society, right? And, and it shows that these concepts are becoming more and more part of core business. And this is, this is something that many businesses are overlooking. So if you are a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur and you have a business and you want to grow, you want to become a, a, a well-known company, then try this. Try to create shared value. Try to do something that no one else or very little companies are doing. I'm not saying that there are no companies out there. I, there are a lot of fantastic, really valuable and and valuable and companies that provide so much shared value but it's true that the the mainstream is still focusing on maximizing short-term profit so this is the big takeaway for you today focus on creating value as much as possible by serving others and then in return you will receive okay guys that was it for today I hope you really liked this video. I hope you found it helpful, useful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe. Leave behind a comment because that means a lot to me. And so that way I know that you like these videos, that they are helpful for you. And like I said, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.